Hey guys, it's I'm Cookies here, and today we have a some gameplay of StarCraft 2. And uh, some of you guys don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, this is a real-time strategy game uh, made by Blizzard. And as you can see, we're me. I am I'm Cookies, and I'm the red. And Demok is the blue Terran, and it's TBT, so in other words, it's Terran vs. Terran. For those of you who don't really know, uh, StarCraft is a real-time strategy game made by Blizzard. Uh, you have three different races. It's all about economy building, and you build your economy, and you pretty much maximize your army, and you outplay your opponent. So that's kind of the strategy behind StarCraft. So that's kind of the thing that you kind of want to do. You want to be able to outsmart him. You want to be out able to outplay him every step of the way, every turn. So as you can see here, he's doing his, you know, little little deal. He's doing his standard, what we call standards. Uh, there's standard builds for everything and all that stuff. But I am a bronze league player, and so I am facing, I think, a bronze leaguer. Don't remember, didn't really see the... I personally did not see the... Um, how you say the guy his his ladder status uh, you don't really face bronze you, you can face people who are in low silver you can for me you can even face you know gold if you, if you get better and better but i don't know his league so right now i just wanted to show you guys this gameplay cuz i wanted assistance i wanted help i wanted to understand you know more about how to play this game better um some of the things that i do know is a i supply block myself a little bit in this game a couple times in this game actually as you can see um, I shouldn't supply block myself, um, I know that for a fact, that's one thing that you shouldn't do, um, I just, I just don't understand why I supply block myself, um, I guess I did, um, and you know, that's okay, um, sometimes that just, you know, doesn't really work out, that, I don't know, <laughs> doesn't really work out, so, you know, whatever, um, but right now, um, I just wanted to kind of go, you know, I wanted to pause this a little bit and just kind of show you guys really what's going on right now in this game. So as you can see, I've got my second command center going. So I have one barracks, I have one factory building a tech lab as as I'm doing this. As you can see, he's kind of saturating himself. He's got one barracks and he's got producing, you know, he's got five marines. So right now he's got me, actually we've got about the same marine count. It's pretty good. He's only got one marine up on me. Um, let's go to the uh, number of units, none, it's U for units, uh, so he has four marines right now, so he's about to get five marines, and I'm on my, already on my sixth marine, so I do have the leg up, on the food count, I am a little bit higher, um, that is okay, um, so in Terran vs. Terran, different units do different things in StarCraft, so I was watching a daily, uh, Day 9's daily from last night, July 6th, so as, as I was watching that, um, actually I was in a Skype call with people, and I didn't really focus on the daily, so I watched it this morning again to kind of kind of get some more stuff into it. But what I saw from it was this guy uh, show, and he did this uh, show versus rain is what it was. Um, I forgot about it. I was doing I was recording this earlier. It didn't work out, so I'm doing it again. Um, it was show versus rain, and show and these guys were doing really weird mech plays, and um, Rain was doing this tank, this brilliant tank positioning, and I really wanted to copy that. So, what my thought process in going in this game um, was really to just kind of, you know, be able to say that, you know, I was going to make map control. So, I thought, you know, in any real time strategy game for me, I know in real time strategy for me, the one thing that I believe mostly about any real time strategy game is map control. If you have map control, if you're able to defend points of the map, hot areas, big areas, like let's say for example you want to secure an expansion or you want to put another command center in you know, this mineral line. So if you want to do that, you're going to have to have map control. As you can see, I take my base as he takes his base. So I'm already one leg up. I already have two command centers up. And as you can see, this mineral field right here, it's the same. It's the same number as this, but rich mineral fields, you can gather more min minerals instead of the same five. So every SCV that collects minerals will only collect five per grab, so they'll return it to the base, go back, blah, 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 etc., etc. Gas is always two, but I think it's two. So he does a scan, so he sees that, you know, I have my base up, and, you know, he, he's got his base up. So he's building bunkers, you know, he's doing what I think the, it's, um, what I would call the very, uh, original... Um, marine, marine tank, 
Marauder uh, push, except for he does a little something interesting. As you can see right here, my Banshee's coming in for some light harassment. All I wanted to do was kind of get a view as I'm going in faster. All I wanted to do here was kind of get a view on what he's doing, you know, kind of see what he's up to. And I click this, and it's a fusion, and it's a fusion core. Um, as you can see, I wanted to do uh, get some, you know, I do kill three of his, uh, I do get three of his, uh, three of his SCVs, so he's down, I believe it's three, let's check the units loss tab, yeah, so as you can see, he's got two, he's got two units killed on me, uh, one worker unit, because of that SCV got loaned, so that's, so I'm, I'm leg up in that, but as you can see in the food count, it's really even, so there's no really big advantage or anything like that. So as you can see, what I started to do, um, I do go for a very fast, uh, two very fast factories. Um, well, actually, no, not very fast. My first factory is pretty fast, and then I go for a second. And right here, what I think was my mistake, as you can see, some of it is constant SC reproduction and energy uses. As you can see, I have three, I have two orbital commands right now, and I believe I secure my third one uh, pretty soon. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm getting I'm getting the third one ready. Um, I take these tanks and I want to secure this gold, uh, this gold expansion, this rich mineral field expansion. Which what I should have done, I think, is I should have secured this one. It would have been a better tactical advantage for myself. But you know, they're both the same. They, that gave me more minerals. I was oversaturated anyway, 4,000 minerals. I didn't have enough unit producing structures. I didn't have enough um, supply depot. So in the end, I got supply blocked pretty bad. Um, I could have made so many supply depots. I could have had enough, you know, enough for that. If I wouldn't be supply blocked, I would have been able to. And as you can see, I'm already. I did get the armory because I did see mech play. But what I saw out of it was, he they really didn't. He really didn't upgrade at all. Uh, what I was focusing more on, I didn't want to get an, an engineering bay. Engineering bay wasn't really what I wanted. What I really wanted was an armory, so I was able to be able to upgrade a. To upgrade my weapons for my for my siege tanks because I was going for a siege tank heavy play, and I think what I didn't do right was as we continue on, what I didn't do was I should have because as if you if you remember I scanned as the banshee was there it scanned this fusion core, so I immediately thought to myself oh I, well in the end after watching this replay I was like he's going he's going battle cruisers, so what I should have done was I should have switch this over if you, as the banshee was going in i was actually really late on getting this on the reactor because i was actually building this uh lone raven right here and i really didn't use a raven at all and i don't think i need the raven so what i should have done was take these right here i should have lifted this lifted this up this starport up lifted this factory put the factory down put the starport down get a faster reactor and just pump out vikings i would have been able to easily defend my area as you can see i have one viking and one medevac medevac was simply just for these guys just in case if they needed healing but i essentially what i should have done was because i wasn't focused my focus wasn't on marine play my focus was more on these tanks right here you know being able to do damage to this you know, to these, to these, you know, units, you know, I was, that was my whole goal, my whole goal for this game was to use directly tanks to be able to do this, and as you can see, he's securing his gold, so what I was like, alright, let's siege up, get a little bit back enough so I know what's going on, and I, I do successfully negate his expansion, I do take out one of his siege tanks, and he tries to come in for a quick kill, but that was all fine and dandy. So he has his two battle cruisers already up, already ready for me to go. He has, a, instead of an orbital, he did, does go a planetary fortress, which at that moment in time, after I negated his third, I actually took my own third. So that was a good play on my part. But I think this is where I start to fall apart. Uh, for me, late game, uh, I'm not able to uh, really do both a kind of run the units and run my economy. Um, so either one's going to be lacking and the other one's going to be great and I'm going to be producing a lot. But I think, like, let's say, for example, if I have a big army, you know, I'm focused on the army. I'm focused on the army value. I'm not focused at home because I'm really scared. I don't know. For some reason, I'm scared. And I didn't see these battle cruisers go back. But if I had Vikings able to scout in areas and protect my back, you know, protect my lines and stuff, because he does take out a lot of my units, I would have been able to do... I, w I personally think I would have been able to... I wouldn't have been able to secure everything. So as you can see, he's got a full page. He's got almost 
yeah, he's got almost two full pages of Marines. He's got, you know, five siege tanks. And if you look at the unit count, you know, he has, you know, 41 Marines. I have 10 siege tanks and 26 Marines. So these, these 41 Marines actually would have died if I had this line. If I had this line negating any third except for the one pressuring him to push a third here. So I, what I would actually do is I should have pushed a lone siege tank right here to encroach up on this position. Get some sight on him. And make a successful line. So I have nine siege tanks lined up here. One siege tank in the corner. Have the Vikings handle this. I would have been, I think, this is personal experience, because then I was like, oh shit, he's going back. So I have these two Vikings, you know, on their way to go attack these guys. And I don't have enough Vikings to take out. You know, three Vikings aren't going to kill, you know, two battle cruisers. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> um, but let's continue on the game. Um... So I think my loss right here is I was like, oh crap, you know, he's he's going to be able to kill me. So as soon as these uh, Vikings right here go down, I decided to pull my Marines back. And I think he knew that was going to happen. He kind of had, as soon as he saw that my Marine units were back, he's like, all right, time to push up. Yep, see, I think immediately, right as he pushed up, if I would have had that line secured, if I would have had Vikings secured, he would have been able to push up. But I would have seen it. I would have been able to negate every, every all of this. I would have been able to negate this pushed him enough that I could have encroached a little bit further, take out his planetary, and encroach a little bit further so I could, you know, starve him. But as you can see in the in the unit count, he has way more units than I do. And if you go to the production tab, I'm just like scared as hell saying, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm just massing, you know, two tanks. I'm like, I don't know what to do. And then I try to be cheeky, take these tanks, siege them up, and try and get, you know, these guys right here. But what I should have done, in the beginning, I really think what I should have done was I did have Marines here, but he would have been able to destroy me so fast it wasn't even funny. You know, he's got stim, he's got combat shield, he's got 10 extra health, he's got, he's already got, you know, armor. So his move speed is a little bit better, his weapon speed, he's got 1-1 one, one Marines with stim. I don't have any stim, I have OO oh, oh, Marines without stim, I have one page of Marines just going down. And I'm just trying to focus on building units. And this Raven right here has an auto turnout, which is, you know, fine and dandy. Um... But personally, I really think what I should have done, if you remember back here, as soon as this, as soon as these two tanks, these two tanks are still alive. They actually rushed this position for some reason. So, you know, if these two tanks were after, you know, negating his third, if I would have been able to siege, de-siege my line tank, my line of tanks right here, and would have sieged them in a perfect line, get one more tank right about there, I would have been able to negate anything that he would have had as he has three banshees coming out and he is, you know, producing and stuff. And as you can see, his if I would have negated this, he would have been set. He would have been he he would have enough minerals to make stuff. But the thing is, you know, I would have been able to hold him and I would have done, you know, harass drops, take out this fusion core fast, take out this starport so he has no air units at all whatsoever. I, I you know, it would have been an easy Actually, I think if I would have taken out this army, I would have GG'd him. I would have been able to push up, secure everything here, been able to push forward like tanks, and then do a surround on his base, and he'd pretty much be starved out. So that's game, guys. As you can see, I left the game. I was like, I'm at 69 food. He's at 115. He has higher food count. Um, I'm not producing enough out of these structures. I build these. You know, I don't get tech labs on these. For some heraneous reason, I should have, and I, I would have been able to negate this no problem. But what I think I did, I focused too much on this area being scared. I wasn't aggressive enough, I think. Um, there's other things that I noticed, too, about myself. Uh, not producing enough SCB production. My SCB production was pretty bad. Um, if you look at the uh, unit count, uh, he has 34 SCVs. I have 27. I did lose a lot of SCVs. Um, but most of my SCVs were right here. Um, and as soon as I, as soon as I saw him you know, going after me, I was like, all right, this is game for me. But I think what I should do is focus more on the back area, get more SCVs up, but also make sure that I'm producing. You know, as you can see, I have 8,000 minerals. I, I am so oversaturated, it is not even funny. So um, if you guys want to leave in the comments uh, what you guys think, what you guys think I should do for just uh, example, like, um, you know, what I should do for, you know, unit counting, what should I do for strategy. Um, uh, hopefully a question of mine was, you know, with the siege tanks, should I? My question for you guys is, should I definitely have pulled up at that moment? As soon as he, as soon as I negated his third, let's go, let's go times eight. And this is my last question for the day, so you guys know, 
um, what I'm talking about. As you can see, I'm taking my tanks, and then I take these four tanks, and I'm just like, alright, let's go. Um, and then he's doing that. So, let's go back to faster times two. Um, after this here, after, let's just go fast. Um, okay, so after this right here, my question to you guys is, should I have taken my siege tanks? Uh, granted, if you look at the unit count, I do have eight siege tanks. I have two new ones right out here, and I have all these siege tanks right here, but then I also have two right there. Should I have taken my siege tanks? As you can see, he really doesn't have a core army. I would have been able to destroy him, but he has these two battle cruisers. Should I have taken my tanks? It would have secured, it would have secured this line. If I would have done that, should I have, with the uh, Viking produ production, if I would have produced more Vikings, I would have been able to stop any of this. But my question to you guys is: Should I have moved up? Should I have made a line right about here, so I have about you know eight nine tanks here, and maybe one. One or you know eight tanks on this line right here, you know securing that, but also two tanks right here being able to secure and stop negating anything that was going to move here. You know if I would have stopped this right here, you know if he tried to go for something, he could have was like oh he's being pushed right here, he's going to push right there. But no, I have two tanks right there, constant vision on him, making sure that he's negated. So do you think it would have been a good idea to been able to move my tanks up, all eight my tanks right here in this line, been able to protect, you know, protect my expansion, and I would have taken another expansion, and probably, I had so many minerals, I could have expanded out the Wazoo. I could have expanded here, I could have expanded right there, been cheeky, I could have made a goal expansion right there, and I could have expanded right there. So, do you think it's possible that if I would have had this tank line, I could have secured my game? Uh, let me know. Let me guys know what you think. And if you want more uh, StarCraft 2 videos, please like this video. Please do whatever you feel. Um, if you guys want to see more StarCraft, I'm glad to give you guys. But just a question to you guys. Hopefully, you guys can answer it for me. Um, I know my I know my weakness is SCV production. Both making sure I'm ma managing my army, but also back at the home front, managing my economy, managing you know unit producing structures, more unit producing structures, of course. So. I know what I have to do, and I'm gonna, I think what I'm going to do is play the next couple of games. As you can see, I have a actually a extra, you know, a supply drop. So, I mean, you know, I did get supply blocked a lot. So, let me let me let me know what you guys think. Um, let me guys know how you feel about um, what I'm saying. Um, but right now, I know what I need to work on. But if there's any other tips that you guys want, um, I will put this video. Um, up for download on SC2 rep and you'll be able to look at it and if you guys want any questions or give me any tips please feel free I'm a bronze player I want to get out of bronze I want to be able to do better so I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a proper rating thumbs up thumbs down you know do whatever you feel just so I know what you guys are thinking um, if you guys want to see some more out let's plays or uh, any other video games just feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, your subscription is greatly appreciated. It helps the Cookie Nation. It helps everything that's all cookie related get up there in the in the YouTube YouTube world, as you can say. <laughs> so if you guys enjoy this video, please feel free to stop by for more vids or give my channel a ch check out my channel, give it a stop, you know. Po post a comment or something, say hey I like your I like your channel or just post potato. I don't care, you know, do whatever you guys feel. Um, hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, feel free to stay tuned for more Oblivion LP and other video games. So see you guys next time.